From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is Bon Secours receives favorable ratings from all three bond rating agencies. Just this past week, Bon Secours Health System received word from all three bond rating agencies, Standard & Poor's, Fitch, and Moody's, that they each have independently affirmed Bon Secours' favorable ratings. Standard and & Poor's and Fitch affirmed their A- ratings, and Moody affirmed their A3 rating, which translates to a stable outlook for Bon Secours Health System. All three ratings agencies cited Bon Secours' strong and experienced management team, clinical transformation, and improved performance as a few of the reasons for affirming our ratings. There are some areas that need improvement and our strong and experienced management team will be addressing those areas over the next year. Bottom line, Bon Secours reported an operating income of $118 million for 2012. In 2011, our reported operating income was $55.5 million. I would say that's a marked improvement and one that every Bon Secours employee contributed to. So, what is in store for 2013? Well, no one knows for sure, but Bon Secours is poised for the long run. And as we continue with the second year of the stewardship program, Bon Secours does see a future filled with hope. Stay tuned. In other news, during this Christmas season, we thought we might take another look at relationships, as in right relationships. But what do we mean when we say right relationships? And what are right relationship behaviors? Well, regardless of whether you are an office worker, a clinician, or a leader, whether you are working with patients, the general public, or fellow employees, what we do and how we treat each other reflects on us individually and as an organization. Right relationships behaviors are simply some practical guidelines for how we treat others and how we can expect to be treated. Right relationships behaviors breaks down into three distinct categories. Honesty, engagement, and accountability. Under right relationships behaviors, we agree to be honest, which means we speak to rather than about each other. We speak our truth without blame or judgment, and we express both support and differences of opinion with the goal of achieving understanding and reaching consensus. We agree to be engaged, which means we will show up, be on time, and manage distractions. We will listen deeply, ask questions, and provide feedback, and we will ask for and extend forgiveness. We agree to be accountable, which means that we may not reach consensus, but leave as a team. We will do what we commit to do, and we will support decisions after meetings. As we move out of 2012 and into a new year, let's reaffirm our right relationships behaviors, which we believe is an integral part of being good help to those in need. Finally, on December 11, 2012, Bon Secours Virginia Health System announced the first robotic arm-assisted knee resurfacing procedure for Hampton Roads. Performed by Dr. Anthony Carter, orthopedic surgeon with Hampton Roads Orthopedic and Sports Medicine, this lesser invasive treatment offers an option for adults living with osteoarthritis that has not yet progressed to all three compartments of the knee. Detected early, this robotic arm-assisted surgery, or macoplasty, is less invasive than traditional total knee surgery and offers the precision of a highly advanced, surgeon-controlled robotic arm system. Compared to total knee replacement surgery, this type of surgery potentially offers benefits like smaller incisions, less scarring, bone sparing, reduced pain, shorter hospitalization, quicker return to normal activities, more precise implant placement resulting in less implant wear and loosening, and enhanced mobility. 
According to Dr. Carter, the robotic technology allows me to treat patients with osteoarthritis of the knee at early stages and with greater precision. Because it is bone sparing and preserves more of the patient's natural knee, we anticipate that patients will be able to meet their goals of pain relief and improved mobility and be able to return to their daily activities much faster. Bon Secours Mary Immaculate Hospital is holding two public information seminars. The first is at their Mary Immaculate Health Resource Center on January 28, 2013, and another at the Virginia Beach Central Library on February 27, 2013. You can get details online at www.bshr.com slash makoplasty or call 866 C A R E. Bon Secours Virginia Health Systems Mary Immaculate Hospital. Innovative ideas to ensure our care is extraordinary. Well, that's it for this week. Here at BSN Headline News, we are taking some time off for the holidays and we'll be back January 7th, 2013. So stay tuned to this portal for future up to the minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.